also check out these older 911 turbos right here and also check out that 911 right there we have a cayman i think that's a cayman i'm pretty sure that is a 997 turbo we have a tycon turbo s another tycon turbo but yeah would you rather have the new tycon turbo s or the new gt3 i think you all know what i'm gonna pick today we are back here at porsche of jacksonville to do another episode of supercar shopping now as you can see right behind me there is a new porsche 992 gt3 and also a few gt3 rs's and inside there are actually a few hyper cars and you should leave a like on the video because today's going to be a good one All right, so in the comments below, tell me how many supercars you could spot in today's video by watching the entire video and counting how many supercars we have spotted. So first off, we have the new Porsche 992 GT3. I'm not exactly sure what to call this finish on the wheels, but it looks pretty. And this one I think is an automatic. We can't really see because it is really, really tinted on the windows. This is one of my dream cars and actually at this dealership i have started up a 991.2 gt3 rs2 and i've also reviewed one over here oh also look on this it looks like it has titanium exhaust because you can see sort of like the burnt effect on the titanium exhaust right there but anyway moving over here we have a gt2 rs club sport now this is actually the first time i've ever seen a gt2 rs it's weird that i haven't seen a gt2 rs until just now so yeah gt2 rs kind of weird looking to be honest i really prefer the gt3 rs over there and yes here we have another gt3 rs this one's finished in chalk gray with sort of like these bronze wheels it's like some sort of bronze goldish finish on the wheels yellow brake calipers the spec on this one amazing then here we have a 991.1 gt3 rs this one has the martini livery on it I'm not exactly sure if i like it to be honest but here we have a 991.1 gt3 now compared to the 992 gt3 this thing looks tame and then the 992 gt3 on the other hand looks well wild it looks like an rs car but it is just the standard gt3 also over here we have a beautiful porsche tycon cross turismo never seen one of these either finished in this beautiful green paint here we have a 911 safari there's a 991.1 generation just a cool cool thing and here we have a 992 911 and here we have a 991.2 gt3 tell me what you think about the spec on this one i think it is definitely a top spec oh my gosh the red stripe in the middle and the red accents everywhere definitely finishes off everything on this and also this one's a manual transmission so double thumbs up for that we have a few tycons over here another one right here in chalk gray 911 carrera right here then over there well let's take a look right now also i forgot to mention this check out this we have a 997 gt3 this thing is extremely hard to find and oh my gosh check out that rear wing pretty unique and it gives the car a very very good identity to the car as a whole pretty sweet 911 cabriolet right here we have another 911 carrera right here a 911 targa 4s right there this thing is a beautiful car panamera another panamera cayenne turbo se hybrid not exactly sure which generation 911 this is right here but anyway here we have this chalk gray porsche macan i think this is a gts because just take a look at this spec. and yep i was right macan gts and also here 997 turbo my bad, this is a 996 Turbo S. But anyway, check out the 992 Turbo S over here. But here we have the 991 Generation Turbo S. I think the rear is the perfect width for me. The 992 has just gotten so wide. Like, just check out this thing, it's huge. It does give this car a muscular look, but it's a 911. It doesn't need to be muscular. It just needs to look pretty. Then here we just have a whole bunch of 911s and just 911s scattered everywhere. Do you think this wing is a little bit too crazy for what this car is? Or do you think it suits it very well? I think it's a little bit too much, to be honest. Standard wing would have been good. Absolutely beautiful Porsche 911 Turbo S right here. The new Turbo S is just such a pretty looking car. I think it's just such a cool Porsche too. And it's just such a major upgrade from the previous generation Porsche 911 Turbo OS. And speaking of the previous generation 911s, we have one right here. And this baby blue, what do you think about it? Man, this color is like really, really unique for a 911. Never seen it on a 911 ever, but hey, it looks really, really great. Oh, 
here we have a beautiful 911 Targa. This is a 991.2 generation. I love the way the Targa's roof is. Also, here's the new GT3 again. Oh my gosh, it's such a beautiful car. And speaking of the GT3, let's take a look inside. First off, we have a GT2 RS. This one's finished in red. And look, we have carbon fiber exposed everywhere. I don't like the GT2 RS that much because I'm not a fan of the turbocharged Porsche engines. I mainly like the naturally aspirated ones, such as this GT3 right here. This is the same GT3 I actually reviewed. I think like three weeks ago or two weeks ago. I'm not exactly sure, but stay tuned for the full review of this. And the rim lip is also in shark blue too. Check out the rear of the shark blue 911 GT3. Absolutely gorgeous. gorgeous. And also speaking of which, let's move along to the Porsche 918 Spider. So this one's a Y-Sock package. The Y-Sock package is basically the track focus package. And over here, you get new carbon fiber over here near the rear wheels. So you do not get that on the standard Porsche 918 Spider. We have a carbon fiber roof, carbon fiber A pillars, carbon fiber front lip or front splitter if you prefer that. This one also has the Martini livery, which I'm not a fan of that much, but I do not like the 918 that much. But what I do like is this, the Porsche Carrera. GT. I have a question, what do you do for a living? This thing just takes styling cues from the McLaren P1 and then transfers it to its affordable supercar, if you want to call that, well, more affordable than a McLaren P1. Oh, I can sit in it? Okay, butt first. And then move one leg. And then the other. Here we go, check out that. Spider is one of the cars in the Holy Trinity. So it is the Ferrari La Ferrari, McLaren P1, and then this the Porsche 918 Spider. So this is one of the most technically advanced Porsches ever made. Now the Carrera GT is definitely not as fast as this, but I would still choose the Carrera GT over the 918. I just don't like the 918. I don't know why, but I just love the Carrera GT. There's something about this car. Also one of the best looking, maybe that's quite controversial to say for some people. I don't personally think it's that good looking, but I also don't think the Carrera GT is that good looking, but it's mainly about the experience experience for me for the Carrera GT. But yeah, tell me which would you choose, the Carrera GT or Porsche 918 Spider. And here we also have a Rally Porsche. It's just super cool. It's also super dirty. Also over here, check out this. We have all the three generations of the Porsche 911 Speedster. So here we have the 991.2. Here we have, I don't think I know the generation of this, but then here we have the 997 Speedster right there it also has pretty similar specs you have these black wheels on all of them except for that these wheels are pretty similar to that but these also have yellow brake calipers on the 997 and the 991.2 has the yellow brake calipers too but all three of them what they do have are these little coverings right here for the fenders so we have them on all three of them i'm not exactly a fan of the 997 speedster but i definitely am a fan of the 991.2 
and also we are going to end today's video right here with the porsche flat nose i'm not exactly sure which generation this is i know i've said that a lot but i'm not really familiar with the older porsches this thing is actually pretty rare and it is cool to see it in the showroom right here of course it is gated because it is really rare but it's just an absolute sight to see i think i've seen this one three times already at the same dealership but it's just such a cool thing but anyway if you love today's video i know you love some of my other videos subscribe down below and if you like supercars like these well you're gonna like this channel so make sure you subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any upcoming content with supercars and hypercars please hit the like button it would help me more than you would imagine but i hope to see you in a future video bye for now And also stay tuned until the end of the video because we will go inside and, oh my gosh.